Hi, I am Manu. My name is Soumya. I am Sai Shubham in the Department of Electrical Engineering. Electrical Engineering. Electrical Engineering. It started from the process where we were intimated by a mail uh, coming from the discipline coordinator and thereafter we had to submit various documents. One of them was CV, other was a research proposal and then there was also an SOP which was for internal selection only. Apart from this there was also a document related to publication. We later had to submit it to the faculty advisor which was then processed by the PMRF committee and then later we had a selection coming up. Regarding the PMRF I got to know from my seniors and the process is actually very challenging and competitive and the whole process is actually subjective. Application process was very smooth as you have to apply on portal but the selection process is uh, very tough. It will help financially because uh, the, the stipend is more for a PMR fellow and other benefits are for example going for conferences and all. Institute fellowships are generally you will get it once a year but if you have a PMR fellowship then uh, you can go for more number of conferences. People who are interested in teaching who want to go that way uh, it will be beneficial that external year duties and all are there so you can use it to your advantage. This scholarship would help me in several ways. One of them is that since I would have an increase of stipends, so that is really encouraging for me to work. Then I also have an opportunity to go for various teaching duties. So PMRF TA duties are like you have to go for external teaching where you can interact with several students that are not part of IITs. Another thing is when you get the contingency funds, you can go for conferences and you can utilize it for your research purposes very properly. It will basically help in uh, travel purposes because if you have to go to any conference, uh, it takes a lot of money. So in that way, it will help. Prepare a good proposal, have a good idea about uh, what work you will be doing. So you'll have to think about it slightly earlier so that you get enough time. Uh, another thing is maybe get some good reference letters, if you have some prior research experience, like try to consolidate them and document them so that you can make it uh, the pro final proposal easily. Since I said that the process is very competitive, uh, you need to have a really good CGPA and apart from that you need to have a couple of research publications in really good places. So that really helps. You should have a clarity in your mind that what is the research you are going to work on and then you should have a preliminary topic decided, preliminary work done. Uh, there should be some result that you should have and then you should think that how it could help your nation uh, in performing various activities or uh, taking various decisions. You should also have the publications with you where uh, you can say that you can have your firm uh, right to say that you are a perfect candidate for a PMRF. So I work in the domain of VLSI. So my work is related to computer memories. So my job is to make computer memories uh, more energy efficient and smarter so that uh, your devices such as laptop and phones can last longer. I work in the Department of Electrical Engineering but my area of research is biomedical ultrasound. So I basically work with Professor Himanshu Shekhar uh, in developing metamaterial techniques for advancing therapeutic ultrasound. So it basically means using ultrasound for treating diseases. So metamaterials are kind of like hardware structures which can be used in different applications in cancer detection or like in cancer curing. Improving those techniques is what I'm working on. My research is basically based on quadrupeds that are flexible legged, cable driven. The purpose is basically to have compliance in rough terrains because when we have rigid in quadrupeds, what happens is we have issues related to compliance and then we also have problem related to rigidity. But if we have flexible legged quadrupeds, then it can be used for various uh, applications like space exploration or search and rescue and if it is autonomous then it can have various military operations that would help uh, the national interest.